There are a number of reports saying that Tesla and Uber are in deep discussions about Uber joining with Tesla to launch their robo taxis all over the United States. I mean, it's believed by Tesla and it's also believed by Uber. The license will be granted to Tesla to make its robo taxis fully operational. They're saying that testing has confirmed that their vehicles are safe enough to be used as real world robo taxis. I can confirm personally, I've driven uh, a lot of miles in a Tesla Cybertruck using full self-driving without any interventions in numerous, I think, tricky situations, it performed flawlessly. Now, apparently at the cyber taxi or the robo, whatever it's called, we robot event, the cyber cab, the technology Tesla was using, they say that was basically almost production ready robo taxis. Here are the details. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. I'll be at the Sydney EV Show. If you're from America, come visit, guys, seriously. Come visit, come visit the show. I'll put a link in the, de the description so you can get a discount on your tickets. The Tesla RoboTaxi, I honestly think it's here. I, I actually do believe Tesla. I believe it will be launched and licensed either in Texas or California next year, possibly even both of those places. I fully believe this will happen. I know you're gonna say you're just a Tesla fanboy. Uh, you know what? I I do believe this, and I don't I don't believe I'm being illogical. I believe it's based on experience. I in fact drove a Tesla Model Three using full self driving as well. It was unbelievably good. It was fairly aggressive. Drove like a normal driver, a normal confident driver. Shockingly good. And I think we're just being bombarded by negative media, particularly media like Electric, are just dominating our news feeds with negative stories about Tesla. So it's kind of swaying our perception to think that actually full self-driving isn't good, it's not legit, it's not gonna work, I think it will. And I think it's actually gonna be licensed. And if this does happen, you can imagine what's gonna to happen to Tesla's stock price. It's going to blow up. Now, I don't believe Tesla's stock price will be um, 10X, like some people say, when full self-driving is uh, licensed and when it becomes you know more popular, when other states across America follow, when Canada potentially follows, I don't believe that Tesla stock is gonna 10X. I believe the robot, even though it's probably three or four years away, that will truly that will truly blow Tesla into the stratosphere. I don't think you've got to be a Tesla fanboy to say that. I think it's just being purely logical. If Tesla's robots are able to do what Tesla's cars can do and many other things, work in factories, replace human beings, which they will be eventually, then obviously that's a $30 trillion market. The global labor market is immense. Getting back to the cyber cab though, getting back to Uber, Obviously Uber, uh, well, Uber are kind of screwed here because they have no choice. They have to partner with Tesla, don't they? But ultimately, what does what can Uber offer Tesla that Tesla doesn't have itself? Well, it has its own app and network and everything else. I think Uber and, and Tesla will cooperate. They will have a joint partnership, but eventually Tesla will just do their own thing. They don't really need Uber in the long term. That's what I see happening. I could be wrong though. Now, the details, what we're hearing here, is that Tesla and Uber are p planning on partnering. In fact, CEO Dara Koskrauch, I don't know how to pronounce his name, CEO Dara uh, confirmed this in an interview. So that's Uber's CEO. Uh, obviously competing with uh, Elon Musk is no easy matter and uh, we take nothing for granted. We really wanna partner with the autonomous industry. Ultimately, we think that autonomous technology uh, can be safer, can make rides available more affordably to people all over the world. It's going to take some time for the technology to come into the main line, but we partner with Waymo, with Cruz, uh, with uh, Wave here in the UK. And our hope is that to the extent that Elon and Tesla build some great technology, when it's safe and ready to use, they plug it into the Uber network and we can all win together. Will you have robot taxis on, uh, on the Uber platform? Well, we have robo taxis on the Uber platform today, for example, with Waymo and Tesla. Uh, you know, we'll see. I think that's up to uh, what Tesla does. We have a lot of Teslas on the platform. They're great EVs. Drivers love it. And to the extent that they're robo Teslas, we love to have it on the platform. But if not, I don't think this is going to be a winner take all marketplace. We believe in the spirit of partnership. We'll see what uh, Tesla does and either we'll compete with them or, or we'll work with them or a combination thereof. Now, although Tesla planned to roll out its own ride hailing platform and has shown off a version of what looks like the app, Tesla does have a good relationship with Uber and they've recently integrated Uber into a few of their vehicles to make life easier for Uber drivers. The CEO of Uber, 
Join Financial Times for an interview, says Tesorati, and he spoke in details about Uber's relationship with Tesla. He said he hopes to partner with the company and the autonomous industry as a whole in the future. Now, obviously, uh, the CEO of Uber is smart. He knows that he has no choice. He has to do this. Why? Well, 90% of the cost of an Uber ride, when you take a, a delivery, take a ride with Uber, 90% of the cost is the driver. Get rid of the driver, and well, Uber can't compete with anyone who can run a robo-taxi company, so Uber has to become a robo-taxi company. They really have no choice. He said, I'd love to have the Cybercab robo-taxi on the platform. And he said this about competing with Elon Musk. Obviously, competing with Elon Musk is no easy matter, and we take nothing for granted. We really want to partner with the autonomous industry. This is great. I'm really, I'm really, really kind of pleased when I see CEOs, uh, you know, not act like idiots. When CEOs of a, of a company, they can destroy a company, and the fact that he's thinking this way, you know, thinking, let's partner, let's do this, let's let's join up because we, it's the smart thing to do. I like to see this. He said about having the cyber cab on the Uber platform, we'd love to have it on the platform. But if not, I don't think this is going to be a winner take all marketplace. We believe in the spirit of partnership. We'll see what Tesla does. We really want to partner with the autonomous industry. Ultimately, we think that autonomous technology uh, can be safer, can make rides available more affordably to people all over the world. It's going to take some time for the technology to come into the main line. But we partner with Waymo, with Cruz, uh, with uh, Wave here in the UK. And our hope is that to the extent that Elon and Tesla build some great technology, when it's safe and ready to use, they plug it into the Uber network and we can all win together. He doesn't believe that. He doesn't believe a winner take all marketplace. He doesn't believe that it couldn't happen. He knows it could happen. Tesla could take the entire market. Okay, 99%, 98%, because I'm sure uh, Google will still have Waymo RoboTaxis offering rides in San Francisco and a few other places. But how many cars, how many of those do you think are going to be out in the streets within two or three years? What, a few thousand? 10,000, maybe? Not that many. Not enough to really make a big dent in the ride-hailing market in the, in the entire automotive industry landscape across North America. Now, ride-sharing is clearly not an easy business. Um, but I think Tesla, they have a pretty big marketplace. They have the ability to get information out there and think about it. If Tesla said, listen, you can catch our cyber cab, it'll cost 40% less than a normal Uber, 60% less, 80% less. Some people think it'll cost 90% less. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Within 24 hours, you probably have half of North America sign up for this. Why wouldn't you? It's a no-brainer. If they're safe, and honestly, do you really want to be in a car with another driver? I don't really enjoy it, to be honest. A lot of the Uber drivers, they're jerky and, you know, I don't, I don't really enjoy the experience. I'd rather, to be honest, be in a vehicle by myself. And I have pretty good confidence in robotics so they can drive better than people. Robotics don't get tired, they don't get sleepy. Their eyes are always open. Uh, they're not affected by any kind of drugs, whether that's sleeping pills or anything else. It's taken us 15 years. It's taken us tens of billions of dollars of capital and we can provide that instantly to a partner. Hopefully Tesla will be one of those partners. I don't think it matters that it's taken Uber 15 years to get to where they are. I think Tesla could crush them within a very short space of time. Will that happen? I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully Tesla are an Uber partner and it all works well and it's really good for the consumer. Let's wait and see. Now, Tesla's autopilot director said the cyber cab fleet was using near production artificial intelligence software, which will ship in version 13. Tesla's director of autopilot software, Ashok Iliswami, recently shared some key insights at WeRobot. He said this, the general lack of details he said this about the event. Reflecting on the WeRobot event we had, 
19 cyber cabs and 29 Model Ys driving themselves. 1,300 trips transporting over 2,000 guests. Continuous operation over the 3.5 hours. Every trip was perfectly safe. There was no interventions. Do you think if there was a, um, you know, human drivers that were tired, you, that you'd have that same result? You might, you might not. I mean, over 2,000 guests, 1,300 trips, 3.5 hours of continuous operation, zero interventions. How far can Tesla be from actually delivering this? I think it's time to just start ignoring the naysayers. Yeah, there's gonna be interventions still. There's gonna be interventions in all robo taxis for the next few years. Doesn't mean it's not safer than a human though, does it? I think it does. I think that honestly, humans are gonna have make more mistakes next year, potentially than artificial intelligence robo taxis do. Keep in mind, about 1.3 million people die on the roads every single year. And that's from humans driving cars. It was really amazing to see users take the robo taxis for granted. They didn't seem to think twice before crossing in front of it, walking alongside it, robo taxis interacting with one another, etc. They behave just the same way they would around human driven vehicles. Is full self-driving about to go mainstream, about to be licensed? I don't think it will this year, but I agree with Elon Musk. I mean, a lot of things he says, I don't agree with. On this point, I agree. I think almost certainly it will be licensed in 2025. Thanks for watching.